friends, in this module we will discuss the derivation of trigonometric functions of multiple and some multiple angles. We will also use these formulae to solve various problems. Let us start with trigonometric functions of multiple and some multiple angles. Cos of 2 x can be written as cos square x minus sin square x which can also be written as 2 cos square x minus 1 equal to 1 minus 2 sin square x and also equal to 1 minus tan square x divided by 1 plus tan square x. Now, let us see how we got this formula. Cos of x plus y is equal to cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. This derivation we have already done. Now, in this replacing y by x, we get cos of 2 x is cos square x minus sin square x. To express cos 2 x in terms of cos x only, we replace sin square x in step 2 by 1 minus cos square x, which on simplification gives cos 2 x equals to 2 cos square x minus 1. Again, cos 2 x is equal to cos square x minus sin square x. To express this in terms of sin square, we substitute cos square x by 1 minus sin square x. So, cos 2 x is 1 minus sin square x minus sin square x which is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square x. For the third part, we again start with cos 2 x as cos square x minus sin square x. Now, in the denominator 1 we will be replacing by cos square x plus sin square x. Therefore, cos 2 x can be written as cos square x minus sin square x divided by cos square x plus sin square x. Next, when we divide the numerator and denominator by cos square x, the formula for cos 2 x becomes 1 minus tan square x upon 1 plus tan square x under the condition that x cannot be n pi plus pi by 2, where n is an integer. Now, we will see the different formula for sin 2 x. Sin 2 x can be expressed as 2 sin x cos x and can also be expressed as 2 tan x upon 1 plus tan square x, when x is not equal to n pi plus pi by 2, where n is an integer. We start with the formula which we have already done sin of x plus y is equal to sin x cos y plus cos x sin y. In this formula, when we replace y by x, we get sin 2 x is equal to 2 sin x cos x. This part the denominator is 1, which can be replaced by cos square x plus sin square x. Therefore, sin 2 x is 2 sin x cos x divided by cos square x plus sin square x. Now, when each of these term is divided by cos square x, sin 2 x can be expressed as 2 tan x upon 1 plus tan square x. Now, for tan 2 x, we will try to express this as 2 tan x upon 1 minus tan square x if 2 x is not equal to n pi plus pi by 2, where n is an integer. We know tan of x plus y is equal to tan x plus tan y upon 1 minus tan x into tan y. Replacing y by x, we get tan 2 x is equal to 2 tan x upon 1 minus tan square x. Let us see how we will get the formula for triple the angles. Now, sin 3 x, we will try to express this as 3 sin x minus 4 sin cube x. Sin 3 x can be expressed as sin of 2 x plus x. Now, applying the formula of sin of x plus y, sin 3 x becomes sin 2 x cos x plus cos 2 x into sin x. Replacing sin 2 x by 2 sin x cos x, which we have derived and cos 2 x by 1 minus 2 sin square x, sin 3 x becomes 2 sin x into 1 minus sin square x plus sin x minus 2 sin cube x. 
Now, we again simplify by opening the bracket. So, sin 3 x is 2 sin x minus 2 sin cube x plus sin x minus 2 sin cube x. Adding the like terms, we get sin 3 x is 3 sin x minus 4 sin cube x. Next, we will see how to derive formula for cos of 3 x. We will try to express cos 3 x as 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x. Again, cos of 3 x can be written as cos of 2 x plus x, which further can be expressed as cos 2 x cos x minus sin 2 x sin x. In this expression, we will replace cos 2 x by 2 cos square x minus 1 and sin 2 x as 2 sin x cos x, which on simplification gives us 2 cos square x minus 1 into cos x minus 2 cos x into 1 minus cos square x. Now, we open the brackets, what we get is 2 cos cube x minus cos x minus 2 cos x plus 2 cos cube x. When we add the like terms, cos 3 x becomes 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x. Now, we will prove tan 3 x is equal to 3 tan x minus tan cube x upon 1 minus 3 tan square x provided 3 x should not be equal to n pi plus pi by 2, where n is an integer. We have tan 3 x is equal to tan of 2 x plus x. Using the formula for tan of x plus y, tan 2 x plus x can be expressed as tan 2 x plus tan x upon 1 minus tan 2 x into tan x. Now, tan 2 x in the numerator and denominator will be replaced by its formula 2 tan x upon 1 minus tan square x and this on simplification will give us the value of tan 3 x as 3 tan x minus tan cube x upon 1 minus 3 tan square x. So, we have seen children that we have derived the formula for multiple and some multiple angles. Using this, let us start with example 1. In example 1, we will prove that 1 plus sin 2 theta plus cos 2 theta divided by 1 plus sin 2 theta minus cos 2 theta is equal to cot theta. We begin with our left hand side. Left hand side is 1 plus sin 2 theta plus cos 2 theta upon 1 plus sin 2 theta minus cos 2 theta. We rearrange the terms in the numerator and denominator to get this equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta plus sin 2 theta and 1 minus cos 2 theta plus sin 2 theta. Now, the expression 1 plus cos 2 theta is to be replaced by 2 cos square theta plus sin 2 theta will be expressed as 2 sin theta cos theta. In the denominator, 1 minus cos 2 theta will be expressed as 2 sin square theta plus sin 2 theta will be expressed as 2 sin theta cos theta. Now, from the numerator, we will take out 2 cos theta common and in the bracket, we will be left with cos theta plus sin theta. From the denominator, we will take out 2 sin theta common and we will be left with cos theta plus sin theta in the bracket. After cancelling the non-zero terms from numerator and denominator, we get the left hand side is equal to cot theta, which is same as our right hand side. Now, example 2, we will prove cos x upon 1 plus sin x is equal to tan of pi by 4 minus x by 2 this is very important identity. Left hand side is cos x upon 1 plus sin x. Now, cos x can be expressed as sin of pi by 2 minus x in the numerator and in the denominator, we replace sin x by cos of pi by 2 minus x. So, cos x upon 1 plus sin x can be written as sin of pi by 2 minus x upon 1 plus cos of pi by 2 minus x using half angle formula sin pi by 2 minus x can be further expressed as 2 sin pi by 4 minus x by 2 into cos pi by 4 minus x by 2 and 
in the denominator 1 plus cos of pi by 2 minus x will be represented as 2 cos square pi by 4 minus x by 2. Now, cancelling the common factors 2 and cos pi by 4 minus x by 2 from numerator and denominator we get tan of pi by 4 minus x by 2 which is same as our right hand side. In example 3, we will see the multiple use of our half angles. Let us begin with the left hand side. Left hand side of this question is under root of 2 plus under root of 2 plus under root of 2 plus 2 cos of 8 theta. Now, from the first under root, we take out 2 common and we are left with 1 plus cos of 8 theta. So, our left hand side becomes under root of 2 plus under root of 2 plus under root of 2 into 1 plus cos 8 theta. Using half angle formula, 1 plus cos 8 theta can be written as 2 cos square 4 theta. So, left hand side now becomes under root of 2 plus under root of 2 plus under root of 4 cos square theta. Now, taking the root of 4 cos square 4 theta, we get under root of 2 plus under root of 2 plus 2 cos 4 theta. Again, we will take out 2 common from the second root and the expression we get will be under root of 2 plus under root of 4 cos square theta. Now, root of 4 cos square theta is 2 cos 2 theta. So, the expression which we have to simplify now is left under root of 2 plus 2 cos 2 theta, which we take out 2 common and after substituting 1 plus cos 2 theta as 2 cos square theta, we get the right hand side which is 2 cos theta. In example 4, we will prove that cos a plus cos b the whole square plus sin a minus sin b the whole square is equal to 4 times cos square a plus b by 2. Let us start with the left hand side. Left hand side is cos a plus cos b the whole square plus sin a minus sin b the whole square. Now, applying the formula, these two expressions are equal to cos square a plus cos square b plus twice of cos a cos b plus sin square a plus sin square b minus twice of sin a sin b. Now, we combine cos square a plus sin square a plus cos square b plus sin square b plus twice of cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. Cos square a plus sin square a will be replaced by 1 cos square b plus sin square b will again be replaced by 1 and cos a cos b minus sin a sin b will be replaced by its formula cos of a plus b. So, our left hand side now is 2 plus 2 times cos of a plus b. Now, taking 2 common in the bracket we are left with 1 plus cos of a plus b and 1 plus cos of a plus b can be expressed as 2 times cos square a plus b by 2. So, our left hand side on simplification gives us 4 cos square a plus b by 2 which is same as our right hand side. So, friends in this module some formulae of trigonometric functions of multiple and some multiple angles have been derived. Using these identities some results have been proof.